Well, in 72, Gene and I decided to start building what turned into Ingress. And, and we assembled you know, a team of students to work on it. And, uh, and we immediately wrote grant proposals to support that work. And fairly quickly, we had enough money uh, Ingress was written by one full-time programmer and three or four uh, students between 70, 1973 and 1976. And so those, and we had enough, we got enough research money to support that, that level of, of activity. Who did the design work on Ingress? Uh, well, Gene and I worked on it together. Uh, the architecture of the system was mostly me. Uh, Gene designed the query language Quell. So that was his, Quell was his. Quell was his. And he designed the initial optimization strategy. So the, the query optimizer was, was Gene's. Uh, I designed the execution engine, the file system, all, all the lower levels of the system. Uh, along with uh, uh, Jerry Held, who's who was, has had an illustrious career in his own right, and I guess was at your He was meeting. at the meeting, he was a major, a significant contributor, of course. So he, so he, he came on the scene fairly quickly, I think in 74, and he, he, he and I sort of, you know, did all the, all the underpinnings of the system. But you were doing this while you were still at the university. Did the university mm -hmm. have ownership or feel it had ownership of what you were doing? Okay. The, in Ingress, uh, I say this. This is an interesting and raging debate to this day. Uh, I declared Ingress to be public domain software available to anybody, and it was de facto public domain because by about 1970. So, so what happened was uh, we got the system to work in sort of the academic version uh, you know, of works, meaning we could get it to work and run a few queries by like 1975. And most research projects declare success and move on to something else. And so you put in the first 90% of the effort to get something to work. And then you put in the second 90% of the work <laughs> to get it to really work. So in 75 and 76, for I don't know why, uh, we, we made Ingress really work so that other people could actually get it to do something. So we had about, by 77, I think we had about 50 or 60 installations of Ingress you know, around the world. 